and we're back for another episode. In this episode I'm going to be unlocking the challenge log which is a new feature added into patch 2.2 which will give you challenges to complete every reset every week in order to then do um, sorry in order to get like experience bonus skill bonus stuff like that. So in order to do that you need to come here to the drowning wench in upper Limsa Limsa and talk to I told Wan and see what we have to do. So the quest is called Rising to the Challenge. It can be unlocked at level 15. So it says I told Wan is ill pleased with the carelessness of the wench's customers. It says uh, we all know how it feels to have had not um, to had one too many. That's why um, I'll not fault our patrons for much of what goes on at our tables but it is too much to ask um, that they keep their belongings on their persons when they leave um, I wouldn't bother me so much if half of them didn't show up a week later uh, ranting and raving as if drunken um, heedless heedlessness were somehow my fault uh, take this impressive looking journal right here. As off used as it seems to be, I've no doubt its owner is tearing up the town searching for his prized possession. Um, a stranger he was, a suave Rogadin who enjoyed his drink. We seemed to be getting on uh, well with one of our regulars, uh, Quentian. Um, perhaps you could uh, still catch up with him and spare me the headache. I'd offer you a free drink, but last time I did that, uh, barter and dock my wages. Okay, so we need to talk now to uh, Quentinane, who is also in the um, Drowning Wench just across, as you can see. Let's talk to him. So he says, have I seen who? Uh, look, just because I spend more nights at the wench than in me own home doesn't mean I'm uh, amazed with every sod who comes stumbling through the doors. Uh, wait a minute, uh, that bloody book. Uh, why didn't you say sooner? The tight-arsed bastard drained 20 flagons and promptly passed out, leaving yours truly to foot the bill. Uh, said he was heading to for Aleport. Aye, uh, where else the scurvy uh, sop? Uh, Nimia willing, um, he's still stranded at the ferry docks, though the gods know it won't help uh, get me gill back. Okay, so we're going to go to the ferry docks. Quickest way to get there is to use the Aetherite Shard and teleport to Fisherman's Bottom. Okay, so here is <coughs> Waste Laid. So he says, um, if you have business with me, be quick about it. My ferry and my next uh, great adventure await. So we're going to give him his well-worn journal. Which says, an impressively bound journal, unceremoniously forgotten under a table at the Drowning Wench. So it says, my journal. Why, I thought I had lost it forever. Uh, pardon my rudeness, friend. Uh, perhaps I should have stopped after 19 flagons. Um, did you steal a glance at its pages by chance? No? Uh, sh a shame that, for this book contains how, I might say it, a record on my numerous adventures. Quite the inspiring read, if I do say so myself, which I believe um, I just did. Har har. Um, you've the air of adventurer about you, and one almost as accomplished as myself. Um, had it been you across the table from me at the wench last night, I imagine the tales would have been uh, great and the ale all the sweeter. Uh, were there only some way for me to repay your... Uh, but of course, I have a fresh journal right here that might as well um, have your name in it. Uh, why not keep a record of your own, that one day we might uh, regale each other with stories of our deeds? Um, and with that I shall be off uh, for adventure, and a flagon or twenty of the realm's finest ale. Um, call me. Uh, fare uh, you well on your journey, and next time you find yourself at the wench, uh, do thank um, Ellers and Fellow for his generosity. So I'm just going to take these tin pieces.
So it says the challenge log is now obtained. So it says you have access to the challenge log, which will serve as a record of your adventuring exploits. To open it, select logs from the main menu, followed by challenge log. Okay, so I'm gonna read this. So it says, the challenge log contains a list of adventuring um, objectives across a wide range of categories. Completing any one of these objectives will earn you rewards. Completion uh, status is reset on a weekly basis and it is possible to undertake the challenges repeatedly. Um, each unique challenge you complete counts as towards the overall completion category which yields additional rewards. As you progress in level and advance in the scenario, more challenge objectives will become available, uh, giving you a chance for uh, to garner richer bonuses. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you open up action and traits, go to main commands and it probably should be here somewhere so let's see if we can find challenge log here it is challenge log new button so i'm going to add it um hmm. okay i'm gonna overwrite that one move this like this okay so and the other way to access it as well is like they said to go to logs and then you see here challenge log I'll also just click the button if you add it to your interface so the challenge log as you can see here um, asks you to do certain uh, challenges so for example it says complete three dungeons via the duty roulette if you do three of them you will get 84,000 experience 1,000 gil if you complete five dungeons um, just generally just five dungeons you'll get 56,000 experience and 2,000 gil. Now for me, I'll probably just be doing this for the gil reward because I'm I'm level 50 of every, sing, of every class in the game right now, but this will be great for my ult. So they have the same for gil tests, doing 10 gil tests, for doing PvP, um, but this will give you PvP experience, not um, uh, other experience. For fates, so it says, Receive the highest possible rating in fates in five different regions, which means get gold medals in five regions. And then it says complete um, ten unique uh, fates. So this is over this, uh, a week. So as long as you do these over a week, then you will get all these bonuses. So you see here, crafting, gathering, treasure hunting, let's see, beast tribe quests as well. So this will be an easy one to get because we'll be getting this all the time anyway. And the reason that this one doesn't have an experience bonus is because um, you have to be level f um, high, quite high level to do these anyway. So it will just give you a guild reward. And also because the Beast Tribe quests themselves do give you experience individually. Let's see here, Grand Company, so 10 supply and provisioning missions, 5 high quality ice and missions, that's fine. That's easy, I could, I could do that today, basically, or maybe tomorrow as well. Because you can do 8, a d well, actually, you can do 11 a day. So if you have all crafts and all three gatherers unlocked, you can do the uh, you can do the 8 supply missions and 3 provisioning missions, means 11. So you can do this in a day and get an extra 1,000 seals. And um, based on what I said bef in the previous video about the new um, uh, like primary tools where you're going to need so much of the um, old items like the philosophy, what used to be philosophy items, like things like potash and stuff, um, having lots of extra seals is going to be very useful. And see here, companions. So let's see. So it says, defeat 20 enemies of comparable level to your own uh, with your companion. Now this experience is for your chocobo. So it says, defeat 100 enemies of comparable level to your own companion. Uh, okay. So basically, if you were to farm uh, 20, well, let's see, 120 monsters um, with your chocobo, then you will earn your chocobo an extra 65,000 experience, which I think is a very good system. I see player commendations. If you can get five player commendations a week, you get another 56,000. And then overall completion, you also get guild rewards for doing completion. So this is basically just a way of making you lots of money, getting you lots of experience, lots of things. And you can finish this every week. So it'll give you something to do every week, definitely. So anyway, that's it. That's the challenge log. That's how it, and you lock it. That's how it works. So enjoy it. I'm definitely going to be using it probably a lot more on my alt than on my main. But yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.